Hey there, Gabriel Brofato here, Broadway credited voice coach and founder of GB Voice Academy. And on this video, I'm gonna teach you simple hacks to hit those higher notes with confidence and ease. This is the most common question I get from all of my singing students. I wanna hit the money notes. It's glorious, it's a beautiful thing, I know. But there's a trick to it, there's a technique to it. Look at Broadway singers who are able to sing higher notes eight shows a week. There's a technique to it that you have to rely on. You can't just wing it. When we think the word high, what do we think? We think high, something we have to reach for, something that's above us. Well, here's the trick. When we sing high, we actually should be thinking of singing low. It's like an elevator. An elevator goes up, but there's a counterweight. What happens when we reach high for higher notes? Ah! We strain ourselves. Our Adam's apple goes up. That's a common thing that happens with a lot of untrained singers. What we have to start training is associating higher notes with going lower. So as you sing up, I want you to put your finger here on your Adam's apple. Or for women, you could feel, you could actually feel the cartilage here going up and down as you sing. Now, we don't wanna force it down as we go up. Oh, uh -uh. it's a natural occurrence. It's just like when you yawn. <sighs> Put your hands here and yawn. <sighs> you notice how it naturally wants to go down. And you see all that cool air and that openness inside when you yawn? <sighs> well, that's the same opening we need. It's that same openness that allows those higher notes. As you're doing your exercises, I want you to associate yourself going down. A good trick I like to do is as I sing my exercises is bend my knees as I go up. So for example, <laughs> So what that does is that tricks your brain in thinking, oh, okay, we need to open up as we go higher, versus the opposite, which is to close up your throat, tighten it up, and not allow the air to go through. It's just opening up your passageway to allow the air to go through to hit those higher notes. So as you sing up, think down. And as you're doing this, put your finger here and see what's going on. If you notice that it's going up your throat, we need to reevaluate what you're doing there. And if you want to do a gentle hum so you don't hurt yourself, making sure that their larynx is not creeping up. This is your gauge to determine whether you're relaxed, moving downwards, or reaching high for those notes, which is something we don't want to do. Now, in order to support this, we want to make sure we have enough support, literally, from your diaphragm. The biggest misconception out there, and I tell this to all my students, is people saying, singing is like a muscle. It is not like a muscle. The only muscle engagement we have as singers is your diaphragm, not here. A lot of untrained singers push from here. Ah! That's where the strain, the pain, the cracking happens. You gotta make sure that you are engaging from here. Because the more you engage from here, the more open and relaxed you'll create your throat in order to hit those high notes. So now, it's gonna be weird. We're gonna be walking around like this all day singing. But these are gauges that you could use to make sure that you're using your natural sound. Remember, this this support and this relaxed larynx is natural. It's not something that only certain people who are born with can do. This is natural. Look at a baby. A baby can cry for hours. They're just crying. It's the same mechanism to sing high notes. And if you look at a baby as they cry, you'll notice that their diaphragm is so engaged. It's engaged. And they have it, and their mouth opens up naturally. It's a natural sound we all have within us and that we've been doing since we were little ones. We need to tap back into that. Go back, go back in time, go back to that baby's guillo, as they call it in Italian, to give you the clarity, support, and freedom to hit those high notes. Thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you get the first dibs from vocal warm-ups, vocal workouts, tutorials, tips, you name it. Make sure to check the link of my five-star best-selling rated online singing course and you get the inside scoop from the big boys, from people on Broadway on the professional stage. These are the hacks they use that I wanna share with you. Thanks for tuning in and remember, singing is not singing unless you're singing with your heart.